Okay, okay. Yeah, that's... There should turn up the volume on the game a bit. And I'm already minus seven on my voice. Focus on the screen, press start to play. Uh, load a game. Huh. I did seem like a... Sorry, oh, there's one thing I was gonna try here. Uh, I need to go into V-Magic Mirror. And... Let's see which one of these is the new tail. Old tail... Shit. Okay, which one of these is which? I, I need to do a better job of labeling these. Okay, that's her new tail. See if anything cat well I'm loading it up in the middle of a game. So it may not have the same effect. here anytime soon not for a while at least yeah got himself burned Good as they used to be. I've said that many times. I have to wear glasses for driving. I have to wear glasses for reading. Jump yet? <laughs> Keep trying to do a double jump. Let's skip some of these cat. Oh, again. Got myself. That's one where that's the eternal broke, but without the ropes. Nothing up there. Yeah, I'm getting kind of low on power here. Have to make a quick stop over by a safe spot. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm not going to. Because I have no choice but to go up. I don't really need to go up here. 
I don't need prevention he asked for. I can't, don't even have any. Um. Don't even have any sand to lose. against the uh, Sitter Twins. I need to fight them. Magic? There. No. Better than nothing. But I don't even need to wait on that. better off with the blader. I'll get that later. No, oh, I should have. Did I? <laughs> This thing actually opened, and I didn't even have the plasma orb equipped. I'll keep going up. I got warp shard, so I can. Always go back here, maybe. <laughs> Gotta get that equipped. Yeah. 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 
here is... That's a good one to get. In fact, it might be good to, uh... Can sit here and wait all day. I don't want to risk this being like the double jump or the uh, or the uh, gravity boots. Good. Ugh. <laughs> Looking through a glass pumpkin. Better than a glass blumpkin. See what Witch Crow here has for me. Ah. What do we got? Let's see. Got one of those. Very good to have. You've got to give me anything good. That's big. It's a big negative there, Space Ghost. Well, they keep forgetting the doom. Just come back here with the gravity boots and just jump up that whole thing. sand and therefore you can't stop time anymore.
much way more. Wrenching does that one on the side. You know, you're about halfway up there. Okay, okay, gotta go back to the library now. I'm your queen. I'm the queen now. Your queen. Okay. Now I can go to the bottom of the castle. here. I can do the loop around the castle now. <laughs> Did things burn underwater? Yeah, a lot with the captain's uniform. That's a good one for the beginning of the game. Now that I got two of these, I will one on Umbra. Walls a must. And then go to Radiant. I will be needing that much, much later. I don't think I have Dejan Inferno yet. for right now hope that there's nothing in that tower that I need I won't have to come back for it later so I guess it's time to go across the forest and do all the lake stuff uh, 19 minutes so about 10 minutes to go
Yeah, you're pretty good against human opponents, but not so much, you know, maybe over armor humans. Yeah, once again, I'm kind of just not paying much attention to what I need to be paying to. You know, I could have just warped over there. Um, I'll tackle that if I have to later. But the, um, part of the cave I didn't explore. Those can have a tendency to stay closed in the rando. Good, they're probably dying quick. I'm starting to avoid, guys. I'm just not getting any points for them now. All right, for some use check over here. Bring in a hat. Uh, yep. He just don't need to open up that gate there. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Birdo. Points. Should we go to the library now? No, I notice I don't have any key cards. Let's go to the library and see what happens. Safe. There's nothing up there that I need. There's no up there. Wasn't worth the trip. So I guess I'll continue on. On to the lake. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep my ears out because uh, doing my laundry. And it's unfortunate. Something just been wrong with the washer for years. It just it'll get out of. It, it'll actually, you know, when it rinses and spins my laundry, it probably piles everything up to one side, and then when it does the actual rinse cycle, that rinse cycle, rinse wind. Time to go bangity bang bang. Yeah. Oh, yes. Finally. Well. Yeah. 
So I got two of the gears that I need. Definitely worth coming in this direction. Move on now. Okay. Yep. I've talked about this and lamented it many times before, you know about. Why is not why isn't the eternal crown the uh, best headgear in the army <laughs> in the game? Oh, I need to stop talking army bullshit so much. jump now that I have the celestial slash but I would like to or the thief here over to the right, but I'd rather not waste any more time on them, and I'm at 28 minutes, so. Yeah, don't need that now. Baby, tum, 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 tum. Like, that man going after a ghost. Good spot to stop. All right, try and get the center line right here. Okay. So I'm trying to keep this quick under like a couple of minutes. At uh, one time I was talking so long it went over 40 minutes. Ah. Do I want to continue for a surgeon fallings? <laughs> yeah. Our first legend that we had in Iraq was... Seemed like a good guy, but the problem is, is, um... Yeah, you should see me. My hands are in my head right now. Resting my head on my hands. He, uh... Used to be a platoon sergeant of first or second. Uh, platoon. And we got promoted to E8, and then became a first sergeant. He... There weren't really much problems during like his first six months or a year before we went to Iraq. <laughs> Everything seemed fine, but then when we got to Iraq, that's where things got bad. <laughs> On his case. The, uh... He started playing favorites. Oh... <sighs> Case in point, when it came down to, after we were there in Iraq for six months, there we got down the airfield fixing it, and then there's just nothing to do, and we're doing, and you know, we got assigned things like tower guard, gate guard, escort duties, and stuff like that. There was just like nothing going on, and then, um, and then when stop loss was lifted, and I was like, incredibly stupid thing to do. We, in my platoon in particular, third platoon, 
lost a lot of soldiers, as in, you know, they went home or they went to another unit. And we were not replenished for like a good three or four months. I mean, yeah, but I mean, we lost a lot of people starting right around August, September, and we didn't gain any back until about December. And the thing is, we still had to do all our regular duties. And case in point, let's talk about favoritism. You know, though, the first and second platoon sergeants would go up and say, hey, you know, we can't let any soldiers go. We really got to keep them. We can't ca leave them off all day long to be doing this first sergeant's detail. And uh, my platoon sergeant would just go along with it. <laughs> he honestly didn't care. He's a whole long story in and of himself and wouldn't stand up for us at all. So I look at, you know, when we do our morning formation, whether it be for peaky or work call, I would look to my right at first and second and see fully stocked platoon of soldiers. I mean, we're talking 30 individuals total. Platoon sergeant, platoon leader, squad leaders, E5 or E6, and then all the other soldiers that they were assigned, and then some. I would look to my left at my squad and I would be lucky to see Rosie there. I would be lucky, I mean, most of the time it was a blank space. It would be, you know, squad leader, then me. I got stuck doing first artist detail quite a bit. Yeah, some guy was going on about, hey, you know, corporal carrying a 249? Well, I'm a corporal who's picking up garbage all over the place and getting water for all you guys, because there's no brie in my squad. And same thing with first and second squad. They were down too, but they, because my squad was usually out already doing, you know, escorting the sergeant major or doing tower guard or escorting locals around place. We did, there was just no, nothing for us to do. And that's all the result of the first sergeant playing favorites and the and, our, and my platoon sergeant doing nothing, and even platoon leader doing absolutely nothing. They said, oh, we need them. We're, we're doing these concrete pads. So we got to have them. We're doing this or that. We got to have all our soldiers here. We cannot put them on any details at all whatsoever. It did come to a head one day where I stood up. Uh, 33 minutes. You know what? I'm going to call it quits here. And I'll talk about that time when I said, absolutely no, I am not cleaning your buildings. 